Um, I think I'm going to make it red for this one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Just JP. My name is Justin, and today we're listening to Sick with Weavers of Woe. This is from their 2017 album, The Future in Whose Eyes. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? The Future in Whose Eyes. Uh, this is the fifth track on the album. Sick is a British progressive metal band from Watford, ha Hertford, sure, England, formed in 1999. I have listened to a few of their songs um, from The Trees Are Dead and Dried Out and Death of a Dead Day. And I haven't listened to like a lot of them, but pretty much everything that I've heard from them I've always found interesting, um, especially vocally and like guitar work wise. By the way, if you are a regular watcher of the channel, this is probably going to be a little heavier and outside your realm, but I always ask that you give it a chance. Um, since I am finally doing a slightly heavier song, I would like to take this opportunity to give you a slightly heavier recommendation that I will let you guys listen to. You can go listen to it and let me know what you thought of the song that I recommend to you. So one of my like recent favorite discoveries was the band Loathe with the song White Hot. White Hot is an, um, ooh, I love that song so much. It, it's it's what I like. Here's a sample. But, but it's like they have a, a nice, um, they have a nice balance between, yeah, they're very heavy sections, which is kind of uh, core-ish, but they have a nice balance with their softer sections, which actually sound and remind me a little bit of Deftones. If I skip ahead just a little bit. Go listen to that song. It's one of the, my favorite like discoveries that I've found like on my off time. Listen to that song, come back to me, and let me know what you thought of it. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. You can join me on Twitter, you can join me in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. This is Sick with Weavers of Woe.
I haven't listened to Sixth in a long time, but that was awesome. I thought that was, that may end up on my playlist. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it may. Um, if you're not used to hearing them specifically, they have a very unique vocal style that I feel can be very off-putting at first, but I love it because it's, it's like this raspy kind of like screaming, but it's also like melodically yelling at the same time. Like it's not like typical growls or typical screaming, like that kind of thing. It's kind of in between and he still has a great vocalization with the way that he sings his lines. Um, there's two singers and they've always had a great duality between them. They've always had great balance between them going back and forth. A lot of call and responses in their lyrics and in their delivery. And I like that because it, it works so much with their music, which is often chaotic, but it's a controlled and very structured and organized chaos, but chaotic nonetheless. And I feel that their vocals going back and forth do a great job of adding to it, uh, to the chaos, but also adding a nice melody to it. Actually, a lot of the times throughout the song, one of my favorite things I loved hearing was the bass work. It, it definitely shines in this song a lot, especially more so towards the ending and the break there. But the way that you can hear the strings being pulled, um, the awesome melodies in the back, especially with the bass specifically, um, James Lee chose the bassist. Really, really good back there. It's funny because at first it almost reminded me of, uh, is it Digital Veil by The Human Abstract? I think it's the Digital Veil, the way that it begins, and then it goes into a breakdown. Here it goes into the verse, but the way it began uh, almost reminded me of it. I know in Digital Veil he uses just the guitar, I think it's arpeggios. But structurally, Sick have always been very interesting, I think in the way that they bring all these different elements together. And because they're one of the forerunners, and I think um, one of like the main bands in, at least starting like Gent, along with Meshuka, they've always had a very interesting style that, while I wouldn't listen to it like all the time, I enjoy it when I do listen to it, just like I did right now. And obviously the drums and guitar are not to be understated at all as well in this, because they're also putting in a lot of work, especially the drums, I, I mean, Drumming in progressive metal, of especially of this nature, has always been something that's uh, very highly technical, along with everything else, but the drumming especially. And here it's no no difference. I especially love the dropouts with just the snare and he's just doing the Yeah, that's that's just a nice dropout to leave space for the vocals to push out a little bit more and then come back into a nice explosion of the music. The guitar work in the break is especially nice. It's a good like relaxing pace. I like how lyrically it's also reflected through the music, like how the music is a lot lighter there. If we go to the lyrics at that particular section, he says, I turned the news on, it was all bad, always seems to be. I ended up diving into a painting of a mushroom house with technicolor waterfalls. The flower beings, they flap their wings, the clouds would glow and rain would sing. Then I fall back to earth. No, oh no. And the music gets back to its heavier uh, sections. It reminds me a lot of in the Matrix Revolutions, wherein they're like in the uh, in the ship and it's all, you know, it's, it's earth and it's destroyed and everything's all dystopian. And they're flying up and they get just above the clouds and they see the sun for really the first time actually in their lives. And it's like this beautiful hope, it's all this light that they've never seen this this what the world really could be right with all the light and then they come crashing back through the clouds back to earth back to reality same way here um musically the music lightens up it's very hopeful and then it crashes right back down just to give you a glimpse of what could be which really matches with with the uh, message of the song and the lyrics um it seems that it's really talking about people in power and abusing that power corruption uh, harming the earth and harming really humanity and society as a whole. The fear plants tears of misery. The profiteers, the mercenaries, do they really know what you see or is it all for show? Why are we living in despair? Then it repeats knives and guns and bombs, knives and, knives and guns and bombs. It's the same old wrong. Like, you know, in a general sense, humanity and people just keep doing this to each other again and again and again. And it's just a self-destructive cycle of things. Money makes the world go round, they weave their webs without a sound. So yes, we've heard that a lot. Money makes the world go round. Wu-Tang said it best with cream, but they weave their webs without a sound. They, they put into place these structures, these plans to in a way maybe keep people down 
Um, and they do it without a sound. Like you don't even notice that these spiders of people are making these webs and eventually we will get caught in it. And going back to that section where the lyrics were talking about rising up and kind of seeing what, what the world could be, I like how it says with those vocalizations, those like paranoia um, vocalizations that were happening in the break near the end part of it, they, it says, I see us falling. Right now, I see us falling. Climb back now. We need to climb now. We need to climb now. Like we need to take action now to do something because if not, it's never going to get better. It's just going to get worse. So message wise, lyrically, I think it's great. Musically, like I said, I think it's really awesome. I would definitely listen to it. I'm interested now in the rest of the album because I haven't listened to them uh, actually in a long time. Um, you guys can join me on Twitter. You guys can join me in the comments down below. I want to know your thoughts on this song, but also don't forget the song from Loathe, White Hot, that I had recommended you. I want to know your thoughts on that one as well. Otherwise, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. I'll see you later. Bye.